Paper.com, and today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect gift book. You know when you go to parties and special events like weddings or, or anniversaries or any type of special event where you want to give a very nice presentation in addition to the lovely gift you have inside, sometimes the bows that you or the, the gifts that you see at those events or even at the, at the craft store may seem a little bit intimidating. They're really not that difficult at all, and once you know these few secrets that I'm going to show you, you're going to be able to make the perfect gift bow each and every time you're giving a gift. And everybody's going to love to see you coming because the presentation is just as much a part of the gift as the gift itself. So let's get started. First, you need your gift, of course, which I've already wrapped here, and you need your materials. The only materials that are required for this project is your decorative ribbon, of course, and your scissors. You can, as an option, you can also use uh, a glue gun, but in this case, we won't really need it. That's if you're a bit of, of a perfectionist, which I happen to be, but in this case, we'll be fine with just these two materials that we have here. I've already pre-cut the ribbon. You're going to use essentially two pieces. And the first piece is going to be the piece that wraps around the gift. The second piece that you cut is going to be the actual bow feature. Um, I pre-cut it, and you want to do a dry fit, just to make sure that it wraps all the way around your gift, which I've done. And you just uh, roughly take it and see um, how long it is, because you want to have some extra so that you'll have the arms to hang down once you're finished. And this is about, uh, just the right size. Uh, I pre-cut it so that uh, the demonstration can go a lot faster. But you'll notice, I don't know if you can tell uh, up close, but this ribbon is a wired ribbon. And that's very important. You want to use a wired ribbon for this type of bow. And this is also one-sided. So when, as I'm folding and decorating my uh, box, I always want to make sure that the side that has the decoration on it is face it, facing outward. Because then it will be, if I don't, it, you'll, it, you'll have dull, a dull side and a live side. And I want to have the glitter side always facing out. So in this case, I'm just going to make sure that it's about even, which it is. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want it to be as even as possible so that when you cut the arms, you have something uh, to show on both sides. And what I'm doing, since this is one-sided, I'm making sure that the side with the glitter on it is always facing out. So as I'm going underneath, I'm kind of feeling my way through it, pulling taut along the way. And once I get it folded underneath, I'm going to come up the opposite side. And when I come up the opposite side, to make it easier to tie the knot, I'm going to come underneath the top with this end and pull through. And then I'm going to take the opposite piece and come through the top going the opposite direction. Again, and you'll see me do a little twist here. I'm pulling taut. Make sure you pull taut. And I'm doing a little twist so that my fabric side is always facing me. Then I'm going to pull it through and tie a knot here, tie it as tight as possible, and kind of feather it out a little bit as you go, and then I'm going to set that off to the side. That's all we're going to do with that for now. We'll come back to that later. The second piece, and again I've pre-cut it, but the second piece you cut is for the actual bow. And as you cut it, what you do, and I, I tend to always do this no matter what, um, is I cut on an angle. That way you have the nice angled end. In this case, it won't matter much for this part because this will be tucked on the inside, but just in general, I always cut on an angle. So what I'm going to do now is start folding. I'm going to fold it on top of itself 
And each time I fold, I'm going to give it about four to six folds to give it a nice full bow. But each time I fold, I'm going to get a little bit bigger, give a, give a little more wiggle room each time so that the bow, the leaves of the bow get progressively bigger when it's time to do my fold. And I want to make sure that the end is not going to be seen, so I'm just going to adjust it a little bit uh, to make it even. I want to get it as symmetrical as possible. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but a nice loose fold. Now, I'm going to place this on top, make sure this this end here is towards the center, so it gets caught in the, 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 top, the knot that I'm about to create. And again, I'm going to make sure that the glitter side, the side with the decoration on it, is always facing outward. And I'm gonna pull this to one side. Some people come on both sides. It's really a, a matter of preference. I like to have the arms going off to the, one, the same side of the gift, so I pull it to the, the side when I tie my bow. And I'm gonna tie it around. And tie as tight as possible, and pull it off to the side, and those are my arms. So now when it comes to the bow, what I'm gonna do is start fanning it out. And because this is a nice, wide, wired ribbon, it fans really nicely. So I'm gonna pull in the smallest piece, pull that out first, and then fan the second largest piece, or the second smallest piece, and then the, finally the largest piece. And this, and this is why I said at least four to six times, because the more that you fold, the bigger the bow. And I want at least two to three full wraps to give it a nice, nice look to it. So I'm pulling out the sides, fanning it as I go, shaping the ribbon, shaping the wire with my hands, and you'll see the bow start to take shape. And if you want, you can pull the top, small, the two smallest pieces that are closest together, pull them and kind of pinch the wire so that they start to close. They don't have to, but it, it gives it a well-rounded look. And you'll see the bow start to form. Then I'm gonna fan out these edges here and kind of form those with my fingers again. I like to make sure that the, the side with the decoration on it is always facing outward. So I'm folding it with my hands, kind of curling the edges. And make sure since this is a wire ribbon, you wanna fold down the ends because as you cut the ribbon, the wire will start to protrude and you don't want anybody to poke, their, the, poke themselves with it. So just tuck, remember to tuck that under and have your fold again. Now, you see my turn on each side. Very simple. You can tuck it under if you like. Tuck it under the bow and it comes down on each side. and just form it to suit your own taste. When you see it start to shake shape and it looks nice to you, then you're done. And there you have the perfect gift bow. Thanks for watching. I'm Kay Hill with cinnamonkisspaper.com.